Welcome to Kevin at 7, where we help you find your superpowers. You can master getting yes without the BS. You want to make today powerful, you seize it. This is the future of lead generation. It's called Lead Generation MD Multidimensional. See, the, here's the deal. When I started selling real estate, I did one thing. I got on the phone and I called for sell by owners and, for sell by owners and expires. And that was my entire business model. That's all I did. Okay, I didn't do open houses. I did, I mean, I did two or three times, but I didn't do that. I didn't, I didn't build a personal circle, repeat and referral. I didn't focus on that because I didn't know anybody when I started. And so I just never got into that uh, until like years later when I figured out that I was losing a ton of business. But I built my business basically on one thing. I did, I tried door knocking, didn't like it because I got yelled at the first time I went and knocked on a sub banner's door. So I just did, I had one dimension. I called you, you either set an appointment with me or you didn't. And if you didn't, then I may call you back a couple times, but I would never call you back more than three times. And I either got the appointment or I didn't. And there was, I didn't mail you anything. I didn't follow up with anything except maybe another phone call. And if you didn't want to talk to me or you hung up on me or you threw an objection at me that I couldn't handle, it was over. Game over. One dimensional approach. And most of us have basically a one dimensional approach to business. So, Here's how it starts. This is the future of lead generation. Number one, 100% of your effort should be focused on finding motivated sellers. Do not spend a dime on finding buyers. If you are spending money or time looking for buyers, you are wasting your business success. You're wasting your opportunity. Because when you get sellers, you get, when you find motivated sellers, what's the next thing you get? And I tell them, post, somebody post me, when you post right now, what is the answer to this question? When you find motivated sellers, what do you get? When you inspire them to hire you, what do you get when you have motivated sellers that are as your clients? Yeah, you get, well, first you get listings, right? You get listings, and when you get listings, what's the next thing you get? You get buyers, and you get them for free because you have signs up in yards all over the place. My, one of my good friends, Greg Hagen, Scottsdale, Arizona, they have over 130 active listings, okay? And they sell all of them, okay? They're closing 50, 60, 70 deals a year on his team. I'm sorry, 50, 60, 70 deals a month on his team. Okay, because they get, and they don't have to market for buyers. They get all the buyers they can handle because they got listings. Okay, when you get buyers, you're finding the slowest source of business and it's easier. Here's the reason a lot of people go after them is because they're easier than finding sellers. But you're going to be stuck your whole career spending time chasing the hardest source of leads. They're easiest to get, but they're hardest to convert into, into clients and into money. Okay, they take more of your time, you have less time control, and so forth. Okay, does that make sense? So, number one, find motivated sellers. Number two, you've got to have a multi-dimensional approach. Okay, now for some of you, you're going to freak out over this, but if you want to have massive success, now if you just want a little success, like do a deal every other month or so, you know, four or five deals a year, six, seven deals, eight, maybe 12, maybe a deal a month, then you're the problem with that I talked about last week is you're spending so much of your time trying to avoid getting no's because you realize I just need one yes. So please don't be a no. And so we try to avoid no's so we, we, don't, we don't get out there and stir up enough dust and talk to enough people to make something really powerful happen. Okay, But the secret is number one, multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional approach to lead generation. So call, text, door knock. Uh, send them some in the mail, send them some in email. There's so many things, and this is just some of them, there's more. But this is just some of the different ways you can reach out to people to, when you find motivated sellers, the best for sell by owners, expireds, uh, probate, notice of defaults, all these are like awesome sources of leads. Your personal circle is the great source for you to find motivated leads. Now you don't kiss off motivated buyers, okay? So when I say all your focus should be on motivated sellers, that's what I focus on. That's what I'm going for. But if I get a motivated buyer while I'm looking for sellers, I'm, if it's a good buyer, I'll take care of the buyer. It's a client, right? You're going to get buyers. Just I'm saying don't spend your lead generation resources, time and money, finding buyers. Spend it finding sellers, okay? Because when you find the sellers, you get the buyers. When you get the relationships, you get the buyers, okay? So multidimensional approach. Boom, boom, boom call. They don't answer. I leave a voicemail. I text message them. Okay. These are all multi, see, I don't even have on here voicemail, but voicemail is another dimensional approach to, to uh, lead generation. What I was taught when I started real estate, you call, if they don't answer, you don't leave a message because they're not going to call you back. Well, they're not. 
unless you have a multi-dimensional approach that goes beyond just leaving a message. Okay, so you can leave a message. You can send them something in the mail. And all of this comes in, and so when people are hit, getting, getting, we'll call it hit, getting hit for, for, by you from all these different angles, you're getting their attention. Now, what we, once we got their attention, we got to create attraction. We got to make them want us. Now, here's the missing dimension that most agents have don't have any clue about, and what you're going to be introduced to at W Listing Power Training Camp, and it's what we call the on, seller online vortex. Okay, this is the agent online seller vortex. Right here is the online vortex, and that is for anybody that I'm talking to. If I talk to them, text them, door knock, mail, email, if I can't get them to set an appointment with me right on the spot, okay, which is really only going to happen when you're in the in this. The, the reason these have red lines here is because those are direct access. In other words, I can usually get an immediate response if I'm going to. And if right here, I can immediately get a response and I can get an appointment because that's the goal. The goal is to get the appointment, right? That's what, that's what I'm going for. So if I can get the appointment, great, I got it. Okay, but if I can't get it, or I, I'll do a mail and email too. I've just never set up a listing appointment by mail, right? Um, so what happens is now we can direct them to an online vortex. Now, what an online vortex is, is it's different than a regular website. So a regular website has, you know, start your, start your home search here, and it's basically like a knockoff of Zillow, or Zillow knocked you off, but nobody goes to your site to find properties. It basically, basically is a glorified property uh, search engine. Well, there's nothing special about it. There's nothing that makes somebody go like, see your website and go like, you're my agent. I want to hire you. I want to talk to you. I want to work with you. There's nothing about your web on your website that does that. So you've got to cr turn your website into a seller online vortex. And the vortex pulls people in to where they say, I need to talk to you. I need to meet with you. And the way you do that is you have an online vortex. Now, what's different about an online vortex and a website, websites just cost you money and get you no business. Online vortex make you money because they get you business. They get people to actually reach out to you either by submitting a form, requesting more information, or by calling you. But it's not just this average old thing like, you know, find out how much your home is worth, give me your name and email, and I'll tell you how much your home is worth, okay? If they can do that on Zillow for free, why don't they come to you for that? They don't need you for that. You understand what I'm saying? So you've got to have something that absolutely makes them want to work with you. You got their attention by your multidimensional approach. Now, one, when they land on your on your on your online vortex, there is a video by you talking directly to them with a compelling, a compelling message and a big promise. And that big promise is that you can do something for them that nobody else can do as a seller. You can deliver them a better result. That's not that you're a better customer service. I'm nicer, I'm prettier, I have a cute dog, I wear a cool hat. It's not some funky, unique value proposition that it's all about being unique. It's about being more valuable, it's about being better. And you do a video about that that makes them a massively big promise. The web page spells out the big promise. And then there's a very simple and powerful and compelling and irresistible call to action that makes them go like, I got to contact this person. And a lot of the, 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 there's two ways you can do it. We have on our, because we do multidimensional, you got both on your web page. One is if you want a free copy of an underground report, give me your name and email. Okay compelling. It's an underground report about how to sell your house for more money. Who wouldn't want that? Right? So, it, well, who wouldn't want that is somebody who's not interested in selling. But who do you want? I want sellers. And anybody that says, I want that on how to sell my house for more money, that's the, that's what, who you're looking for. And there's also says, hey, we'll help you get a better result, guaranteed. Give us a call. We'll explain it in five minutes by phone. And people go, okay. And they'll call you because now it's on their terms. And what they've done by checking you out is all this is that when you set up the online vortex, and this is just parts of it, there's more to it. There's actually what we call five gravitons that must be present on your web page to make people call you. What is it that will trigger them to actually call you or reach out to you? That's the magic. If you can get them here, it's great, but all this does is if I can't reach them directly, it, all these drive them to the online vortex that allows them to check me out on their terms, on their time, and they check you out here on your platform rather than on Google's platform, because Google's platform, you have no control over. You have very little control over what Google shows up about you. 
okay? They have some control, but it's still, it's long and slow. Here you have immediate app control. You're sending them directly to the message about you and what you do that is what you wanna to communicate to them that makes them go like, I wanna work with you.